what I love about main airports. You don't need two hours. No. No, but you know what? For all yeah. the visitors that are coming up, it sounds like the weather yeah. is going to be spectacular. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's uh, it's one of those weekends, and you never know. Like we talked about this, and really, it's true in a lot of summer. But you never know what impression you're going to get if you come here. <laughs> and this is going to be. It's true. A really positive one. Good. Good. Really. Maybe people will start coming here, you know? You know no. Like we could build a few hotels yeah. and put up nice condos I and people make come a here. slogan out yeah. of it. You know? <laughs> like this could be the start of a whole thing. Think there, <laughs> the way right? life should be. This is going to be a uh, yeah, good tourist weekend for sure. And uh, for those of us who live here, also good. we got a couple of showers kicking around out there right now, but they're dying down really quickly into the mid coast. You can see just a few of them flitting around in through Rockland. Quick sprinkle there. But uh, over the next hour or two, most of these will die out. And away from these showers, we're seeing a mixture of sun and clouds. And it's been a decent day. I don't think anyone's seen a banner day, but certainly over uh, western and southern Maine, we've seen more sunshine just in and out of those clouds. Clouds will decrease tonight over southern Maine, but stay pretty firm over northern Maine. Temperatures will stay into the mid-40s, a couple of low 40s out there too by early tomorrow morning. And I think we deal with the cloud cover again over down east in northern Maine and even into southern coastal Maine. And I think a lot of models have the, the cloud right through Portland here tomorrow morning. So I think we have that going on until the afternoon. Then we start to break these clouds up as this upper level low moves away and we get into some sun late in the day. I mean, sun sets at 815 or so now. So you've got a lot of room in there, even if it clears out at three or four to get some late day sunshine. And we'll do that and set ourselves up for the weekend, which as we've discussed is going to be really nice tomorrow. I mean, uh, Saturday will be about 75 most everywhere. I don't think there's a whole lot of variation here. You can see this model thinks Rockland will be a little bit cooler, maybe, but I think even they can get in the 70s probably not a, a really consistent sea breeze going on here. So 70 to 75, a lot of sunshine, beautiful day. Now, if you like a little bit more warmth, may I suggest Sunday because I think it will be a little warmer, especially away from the coastline. So high pressure dominating. We're really kind of lucked out here because we got a storm to the south, storm to the north, blocked off low to the east. All of that is just kind of rotating around us this weekend, but never bothering us as far as precipitation or really even cloud cover goes. We get it back to a cold front Sunday night that cools us down a little bit for Memorial Day. That's why Sunday will be the warmest day. I think the coast will be able to get into the 70s and then sea breeze back in the afternoon. But I think if you get away from the coast, you're thinking lake instead of ocean, mid 80s. Just remember the water is still pretty cold, even in lakes and whatnot. So just keep that in mind. But it's going to be pretty warm, pretty hot really on Sunday afternoon. So this is how it looks on the whole here. It'll get a little bit cooler, especially along the coast on Memorial Day with that backdoor cold front coming through Sunday. But even a backdoor cold front can't get us down this weekend. It'll be just clouds and a wind shift. And that's about it. So things look good right into next week if you took next week off. I don't feel like that's one that people tend to take the whole week off as much mm -hmm. as like uh, some, you know, 4th of July or uh, even Labor Day. But anyways, yeah. if you have it, great. If you don't and get, get it, look into it. It looks uh, quite nice with uh, those temperatures there. And uh, again, and you know, I'm far from alarmist on this. Just remember, I think especially lakes are a little deceptive. They're still pretty cold. Yeah. The ocean's like Too 50 chilly. maybe. So uh, more for you know, thinking kayaks or paddle boards or something you might fall in. Just be aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. Good Swimming, tip. you can always get out. Right. You know, quickly. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good tip. Thanks, Keith. Thanks, Keith.